when these people, after they eat, they'll come up to you. Your Give food is really up, good. Right? Yeah, your food is really good. You know, you have the best poke in town. Wow, well, makes my day. You know? Every day. Every day. In the last few years, poke has taken the world by storm. Poke, also an authentic Hawaiian dish where they dice up fresh fish, add tons of topping into a bowl of massive goodness. It is especially popular in Vancouver because of our healthy lifestyle. We have the beautiful mountains, the beautiful ocean, and also that crazy good healthy lifestyle that we enjoy. Today I'm going to bring you behind the scenes to the Poke Guy, one of the most famous best poke in Vancouver and show you guys the secret sauce behind the scenes. Let's get going. The Poke Guy is located in prime real estate in downtown Vancouver one of the most expensive places in the world. The Poke Guy opens from 11 a.m. to 8 p.m. and their main clientele are business people wanting a fresh option for lunch. Yo! <laughs> How are you? Welcome. Richard, I'm really, really good today. Thank you. Thanks so much for your time and doing this. Honestly, I, it means a lot because this is our first segment and you know, to be able to interview my high school friend, the one that I grew up with, is definitely very, very um, exciting and it's definitely my honor. So thank you. Thank you. What so do you mean by high school friend? Well, no, we were friends now. We're but anyways, brothers, okay? Okay, thank all you. Right, thank you, right. thank you. Yeah, yeah. So right. let's cut right to the chase. Why poke? What, what does poke even mean actually? Well, poke is actually like the main dish of uh, native Hawaiian food. When I tried it, I was like, wow, you know, it's fresh. You know, the time I eat more, the, the more I want, I want to eat more, right? right? So why not bring poke to Vancouver? You know? mm. But I realized, you know, like um, Vancouver, it's a more like a health conscious society, right? So people want more veggie in it. Traditional way, they don't have that much veggie. Okay, to be honest. Okay, they you know it's loaded with mac salad, right. uh, rice, carbs, right, and fish. Okay, that's amazing because like I, I've been to Hawaii too, and I'm definitely gravitated by how fresh the fish is. And in Vancouver, there's nothing that is that fresh. Everything is like super marinated, a lot of mayo and stuff like that. So when I actually tried the poke guy, I fell in love because of how fresh the fish is. And something that is really, really unique about your restaurant is also that you source ocean-wise fish. What does it even mean? Because it's a really big deal that you guys use ocean-wise fish. So ocean-wise is like a program that uh, supports uh, sustainable fishing. Mm -hmm. So to be ocean-wide certified, you just need to buy sustainable uh, source, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. make sure that the fish are all ocean-wide certified. Right. Okay. Right, right. It will cost a bit more, right. but then it's worth it. You know, the quality is right. better. You know, you're helping the, the world, you know. Right. And I'm sure people will know, you know, once they taste our poke, mm -hmm. they'll know like, oh, well, okay, this is different. Hey, Alex. Toss me an ahi. This is a loin, you know, ahi loin. All right, so as you can see, you know, there's a label right, of Ocean Wise. Right. That's how you know, you know, this fish is it's actually certified. Sort of, yeah, nice. certified. Can, do we get to eat this right now? Yeah, for sure. Let's go. Let's cut it up. Now, when it comes to the menu, the Poke Guy definitely delivers a ton of value. Considering the freshness and the quality of the fish that they offer, and an average order price of only $15, the Poke Guy is definitely one of the prime choices for lunch in downtown Vancouver. All right, so I'm gonna show you where we prep the fish. Nice, that's where the magic is, right? That's the secret sauce. Yeah, that's correct. Yeah. So this is uh, Alex, all right? The other so, Poke Guy, the big guy. Yeah, so as you can see, he's uh, cutting a uh, wild sockeye salmon. How many of these guys do you guys go through a day? Oh, Alex. How about 30 pounds? Yeah. 30 pounds of fish every single day. And so you have to skin it like that? Yeah. Yeah, this technique, you know, it's not easy. It looks easy, but then it's actually, you know, have to be, you know, skillful. The plate is always like um, lay under the, the skin. Mm. And that's where, you know, all the fishy taste. That's why we have to like sacrifice a little bit of the meat, oh, you know, in order okay. to have like the fresh, um, quality taste. 
Mmm, right, right, right. Can I try? You want to try? I want to yeah. try. Yeah. Sure. Nice. So we have, you know, beautiful latex-free uh, beautiful gloves. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Latex-free gloves. Wait, listen, did you wash your hands beforehand? I did, yeah. I went did to the washroom. Oh, okay. And wash your hands, right? I Sanitize, did. Sanitize, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Did, Very important. Okay. Oh, so beautiful. Part, okay? Thank you. Thank you. Okay, teach me what, what, what do I do right now? So basically, I would do one for you. Yeah. So I would slide, hold it. Yeah. This part. Don't press it. Okay. It's going to damage the, the, the fish. Meat, right? Yeah. So just hold it gently. Okay. Oh. Like for you. Ooh, okay, okay, okay. okay. You Thank you. Okay, so like this. Oh wow. Okay, am I, how, how am I doing? Yeah, you are doing great. Okay, am I? Yeah, you are, are you gonna hire me? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. So I can okay, rotate so now it. You rotate Beautiful. Yeah. Right. You will go slightly. Oh. Right. Okay. So this is different cutting. Yeah, now it's different cutting. Skill. Because right now it's a uh, it is in strip. So it's, you have to apply another technique. Oh, so there's a lot of technique when it comes to cutting a fish, guys. So your fish is always fresh. Yes. How uh, how often do you have to cut the fish? Every day. Every day. Every day. Every, every morning. Every morning. We cut the fish every morning until we sell out. And then you're like done. You, that's why you guys sell out. So we do like estimate like on average how much we sell. Right. Day. Yeah, we yeah. Don't yeah. Too much, we don't want that too little, just, mm, right just enough. For that day. Okay, I'm gonna let you be because yeah. I want you to like actually have enough fish to oh, okay. to sell today, okay? Yeah, yeah. So Wilson, I'm gonna build a bowl with you, right? I'm building a bowl myself. <laughs> <laughs> so is there any special way of making the rice? Uh well you're Asian, I'm Asian. You don't know how to make rice? I'm just kidding. Uh, no, so uh, what we do is uh, we use, uh, you know, triple A sushi rice. <laughs> okay, let's let's build our own bowl. No, it's free for so, all. So yeah, yeah. But then uh, you know when you scoop it, you know you scoop by balls. By you know, balls. Yeah, by balls and put it side by side. So how do you even calculate the cost of this? Do you actually calculate like? Yeah, every scoop has individual weight. Once you find out the way, you have a price. Right. You know, per pound and then, and, you know, you do the math. Oh, so you guys have like everything portioned out by, by scoop sizes. Yeah, yeah. Are you helping me save money or what? Why, why so little seaweed? Yeah, I am actually helping you save money. Yeah. You know what? You have to make a bowl that looks like amazing so we can actually, you know, sit down and chat a little yeah, bit yeah, more. Sure. Right, right. Okay, you make your own bowl that's like amazing. Ta-da! My masterpiece, guys. Wow. That actually looks pretty good. Thank you, thank you. I am glad that I have a job now. And the beauty about the Poke Guy is that the initial investment is substantially lower than traditional restaurants, ranging from only $200,000 to $300,000. Now, the reason that's the case is because they don't require sophisticated equipment such as hooded fans and grills. That's also the reason why they can run with much less staff, typically ranging from only three to five staff per shift. So, so for yeah. your secret sauce, in terms of like getting people through the doors, mm. what are some of the tactics or strategies that you used? Just some. Be honest, you know, serve what you are serving. You know, like quality, okay? Fresh, you know, mm. always fresh, always quality always you know sustainable you know like mm. ocean wise you know like fish is not um mm. over fish right mm. so our fish they don't go overnight mm. you know when they're out they're so out okay we don't you know keep cutting or over produce and then mm. leaving the fresh for next day or no we don't do that that's so it's always this fresh. always fresh and that's part of the reason that you guys are so successful is because of the yeah. fact that you know it's such a big struggle because when you're in the food business yeah. and you only prepare so much and that when you sell out, you're missing opportunity to make more money. Yeah. So you sacrifice that at your own cost, yeah. right? Just but, to get But I'm quality. sure people know it, right? People mm. know, right? right? Like sometimes, of course, Vancouver, sometimes it rains, right? So when it rains, you know, we don't get as much business right. as predicted, right? Mm. So what do we do with, you know, leftover food, right? Um, option one, we can throw it away. Option two, you know, give it to 
you know, employees to take home. Mm. Option three, sometimes, you know, homeless, right? right that you they, do have uh, a yeah, this area. Um, people with needs, right? Yeah. So we, you know, fix, fix them a bowl, right? Right, well, that's awesome. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That is so awesome. So I guess like- It's better than wasting food, right? Right, well, totally. And I think like for you, the part of the reason why you're so successful that you kind of put everything together is that you're super authentic and that you just believe that putting all your effort into making the right bowl and yeah. your heart into it, that your customers will see it. Yeah. And that's how you bring people through the doors. Yeah. For sure. I'm sure they know. Mm -hmm. I'm sure like once they tasted it, yo, this is fresh. Right. So you're not cutting any corners whatsoever. No, no. Be honest. Be honest. Yeah. Wow. You know, as a chef, right, when you prepare a, a meal and you see the customer, right, yeah. when they eat it, they're like, you know, they have a good smile on their face or like they start nodding, you know, you know, they're happy, right? So that makes me happy just by watching people eating, right? Mm. Imagine when these people, after they eat, they'll come up to you, you know, your Give food is really up, good. Right? Yeah, your food is really good. You know, you have the best poke in town, right? Oh, makes my day, you know. Every day. Every day, right? Every day so, someone tells you that. Yeah, so that's why, like, am I tired? No. When I, once I hear those compliments, makes me happy. Actually, you know what, speaking of which, do share with me one more of your strategy. That's like your secret. I mean, it's just one secret. Well, it's not really a strategy. It's just common sense. Be grateful of your customer, you oh. know, like, have good customer service. There you go. What do you yeah. mean by, by being Because I, I always believe, like, if I go to a restaurant, mm -hmm. I expect to get good service, you yeah. know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I, I, even though, like, if that restaurant has good food, the service is bad, I wouldn't go. Mm. That's, what, that's my view, right. Right? Right, right? So I want my restaurant, you know, food is good, service is good. And that's, that's it. So that's simple. It. It's simple, so simple, straightforward, you know. Yeah. I think I mean, that's what people, a lot of people miss, is that they think doing a restaurant is difficult. It is difficult, yeah. but then the basics, right? Coming back down to the basics, yeah. having good customer service. Yeah. Straightforward, you know, simplicity mm. is the key. And I know that you have much bigger plans. You always share with me about your plans, and it doesn't only stop with Poke. Mm. Tell me what's in the works for you and Alex, the Poke guys. You know, we plan to expand Poke Guy to mm. across Lower Mainland. Right. Nice. So within this year, like next year. Yeah, yeah. That's next year, exciting. and then uh, hopefully see where it leads, right? Right. And also, we also have other projects in mind. Right. Right. right, right. Other cuisines. Right? All, all the cuisines. Yeah. yeah. Nice. Uh, but stay tuned. You stay find tuned, out right? soon. Yeah. That's awesome. Do you do you have any 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 final words for our viewers? No, just you know, enjoy your poke. You know. Of some aloha spirit, you know. Nice, nice, nice. Thank you, Richard. So, good, so there you go, guys. The behind the scenes, the secret sauce of one of the hottest poke shops in Vancouver, the Poke Guy. With Richard's philosophy in running a successful restaurant is all about being authentic and having huge passion. I really hope you guys enjoyed this. Make sure you guys stay tuned for the next episode of The Secret Sauce.